All right. Y'all know what time it is. I gotta mount these things up. Uh, these are just cheap steel wheels. They're like, I think they're like 70, 75 a piece. I was gonna go to the junkyard and get just some steel wheels, but damn, they don't went up on their price to like $50. I'm like, then I'd have to break the tire down and then get these mounted. So I'd still, I'd end up way more expensive, you know, so just did them. At least they match and they look good. Black on black, murdered out. So, sticky Mickeys. Oh, also drove, been driving that every day this week. No problems at all. Drove it to my parents' house. That's where I had all my big stuff delivered. And, um, came and picked it up, so. We've been driving to work in the rain. Got rain X on the window, don't even need no wipers. All right, <clears throat> there was 75s in the back. I think I mentioned it in my one of my other little clips I did. Uh, I'm gonna go with 70s. Uh, 650 comes with 67s in the front and 73s in the rear. Uh, the 650 is really too big for my application. It's a little 302 with like eight to one compression um low compression deal so i'm gonna start with 70s and read the plugs and see if i need to go any bigger which i don't think i will so we'll see All right, got the jet swapped out. Uh-oh. What? Polishing a turd. Just messing around. Uh, so what I did was, is I went through, I just wanted to see what it would do if I actually wet sanded and um, see how much I can bring back of the paint. And believe it or not, a lot of this is just built up debris and pollen laying on top of a decent clear coat. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if that's picking it up. I don't think it's picking it up. Anyway, let's see if I can get this one. There you go. You can kind of see it. So what I did was I went and I wet sanded with just trying little test spots and see how it turns out. I started out with 
2000 went to 25 let me see wait hang on yeah 2000 to 25 no i'm sorry i started with 15 15 went to 2000 to 25 all the way to 3000 and then i came back with some Meguiar's Miraglaze fine cut number two and it did a pretty good damn job I'm actually happy with that like the car is just dull no shine at all and I'm cool with you know it's supposed to be a daily driver but hey if I can clean this thing up a little bit and make this turd polish some I'm done with that I don't know if that's showing up or not the sun is let me see if I can get it on this side I don't think it's showing up. The sun was just glaring really bad, but that's smooth. Anyways, just messing around, y'all. Um, I did down here on the fender also some, but the camera's not picking it up, but I can actually see my reflection a little bit in the paint now versus none at all. So, like I said, just messing around. I had about an hour and a half to burn before, uh, I gotta go inside and cook dinner. So, anyways, polishing a turd. Ooh, y'all look at that. Painted windshield wiper arms, new blades. That's what I'm talking about. We got a little spot of polish yesterday. Or wet sand. Smooth as a baby's ass. Yeah. Polishing a turd. break check got my filter on man I really need to move that filter back or move that fuel line back flip that move that regulator over I'm so afraid something's gonna happen here and fuel get a close to the spark of the distributor and I'll be blazing anyways uh, man I've been driving this thing every day for the last I don't know two weeks and it's just been reliable man I don't know I just I didn't expect it to be this reliable maybe I'm speaking too soon I guess now I could start you know fixing things up a little bit better on it you know new spark plug wires etc um, need to reroute this like I've been saying in my last video I want to take this and go back behind and make it look a little cleaner over here uh, just you know the spark plugs look good you know needs a little more timing uh, I did order a three inch tall air, air cleaner air filter versus that small one I ordered the cleanable one so I'd be able to clean it when it gets dirty but yeah man I ain't, it just ain't skipped a beat well, I just didn't think it'd be this reliable and trustable you know I honestly feel like I can get in this car and drive you know 100 miles one way and make it back home but Anyways, so far so good.